All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So the news just came down. Russell Westbrook has signed with the Clippers. All right, this is interesting. Uh, let's look at it from Russell Westbrook's point of view. So he had offers from quite a few teams. He had offers from the Clippers. He had offers from the Miami Heat. He had offers from the Bulls. He had offers from the Wizards. Uh, all of those offers came with familiarity. So <clears throat> he was on Washington before he got traded to the Lakers, played with Bradley Bill. If you remember, Bradley Bill led the league or was second in the league in scoring. And uh, the Washington Wizards made the playoffs, I believe, lost to the Sixers in the first round. Uh, I think it was a 4-1 series. Billy Donovan, the coach of the Bulls, was his former coach in Oklahoma City. And then, obviously, uh, on the Clippers, him and Paul George played together in Oklahoma City. So uh, I think that this is probably the best move for him personally. Uh, this team has the best uh, ability to have a deep playoff run, obviously. Uh, he's an L.A. kid. He has a big house in L.A. He gets to stay in L.A. Seemed like he was very angry with the Lakers when he left. So maybe there's an opportunity for him to, quote, unquote, exact some revenge. Let's talk about it from the basketball standpoint. I always thought the Clippers were deficient in downhill attacking. You know, they have a lot of guys that jump shoot um, mid-range jumpers. If you watch uh, their collapse versus Milwaukee, there was nothing towards the basket. Um, so it, it, I think they needed a downhill guard like Russell Westbrook. The question remains, is he going to buy in and is he going to make the right plays when it matters? So what is it going to be his role exactly? This is a deep team. This is one of the deepest teams in the league. If you watch any of my content on the Clippers before, I always said my concern was there's so many guys. Are guys going to be happy with their role? Like, are you going to plop Russell Westbrook in and give him 30 minutes? That takes away minutes from Bones Highland. That takes away minutes from Eric Gordon. That takes away minutes from Terrence Mann. Takes away minutes from Powell, right? And then secondly, is he going to buy in as far as making the smart plays? There were a lot of times in fourth quarter, Russell Westbrook would shoot his shot. You know, he's the third banana on this team. That didn't stop him from shooting his shot on the Lakers when he was the third banana, right? So Russell Westbrook's going to actually have to come in and buy in in ways that I just don't believe he can. You know, I think everyone that gets Russell Westbrook uh, generally is more excited at the time of receipt than at the time of dismissal, right? Like uh, of all the places that he's left, um, I don't think that people are really shedding tears that he left. Um, like I, I, I'm a, I was a big fan of his, but the fact remains is that he's a turnover machine. Uh, I think he's shooting 27% from three. That doesn't shot, stop him from just jacking up threes and just wild moments. It just doesn't seem like he, you know, is accepting of the fact that he's not the player that he used to be. Hey, maybe he comes into the Clippers and he buys in. Maybe his time with Paul George. Paul George can talk to him in a way that LeBron couldn't. But me personally, I don't see it. Um I think this was a really bold move by the Clippers. Uh, you know, they had been playing really well as of late. So to throw Russell Westbrook in and just to expect, you know, the thing to be moving, he's just not, he's not the more, ma he's not a malleable guy. Like Russ is going to be Russ. Like you, you're not going to get him on your program. You know, and, and I say this, I do have to point out that the fact that he was willing to come off the bench but even though he was coming off the bench, he was in those closing roles. He was in that closing lineup. It doesn't really matter who starts games. It matters who finishes them. So is he going to be in that closing lineup? That's less space. That's just less defense. You know, he's not a good defensive player. He gives effort, but just the nuances of defense, the nuances of rotation, he has not picked up. And, and I mean, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. I mean, he's in his early 30 now, if he hasn't picked it up, he's not going to pick it up. So um, I understand the move from the Russell Westbrook point. I think this was a really shaky move by the Clippers. Probably would have went the Patrick Beverly route. Uh, I probably would have rolled with what they had, but I'm sure those players lobbied hard for it. And we'll see if he's able to change.
All right, let me know what you think. The game is the game.